Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about Internet Control Message Protocol that is ICMP. Uh, so specifically, we discuss about ICMP messages. So we know that IP protocol is used to send data from one point to another. And IP is basically a best effort delivery protocol. Best effort delivery protocol means it just sends the data to the destination, but it will not uh, give any kind of guarantee that data is delivered to the destination or not. So in this case, to provide some, uh, some messages about some errors during the transmission of the data from source to destination, some other protocol is used in that case. So for example, if the data is sent from this source and to maybe to this destination and during its transmission from source to destination, if at some point some errors occurs, so in that case, we have a protocol that is ICMP protocol. So ICMP protocols generate some messages and those messages are sent back to the host. And by this, the host actually gets the information that is if there was some problem during it, during the transmission of the data. So this is one of the uh, uh, uses of ICMP that it's going to send some information back, some error message information back to the host. And in addition to that, this ICMP protocol can also be used for some diagnostic purpose. And for that, we have different commands like ping and trace route we use. So in this case, we actually use uh, this ICMP protocol to, to check the connectivity and reachability of the nodes. So these are two, uh, maybe broadly, we can say these are the purposes of this ICMP protocol. And for that, ICMP itself uses some messages and we are going to discuss those messages in this video. So this is a protocol, ICMP is a protocol that is used for error reporting and some, some sending some operational information about uh, IP packet processing. And this is actually a network layer protocol. So it is here, some network layer protocol. And this ICMP, ICMP itself, so ICMP packet itself is encapsulated in an IP packet like this. So we have the IP header and then we have ICMP header and then we have rest of the things here. So it means this is some IP header and we have encapsulated this thing, this ICMP within that. So this is the big container. And then this is something small, we put that into, into that container, let's say. So that's the encapsulation about ICMP packet. And let me remove this. Now in this ICMP header, what we have, so if we saw that this ICMP can generate some messages and those messages can be sent to the source, but how this is done by ICMP protocol. And for that, we need to look into this uh, ICM, ICMP header. But before that, uh, let me mention that there are two uh, versions of ICMP. One is ICMP version four that is used for I, uh, in IPv4. And then we also have ICMP v6 that is version 6 and that is for IPv6. And in both of these protocols and both of these versions we have different messages but there are some of the messages which are common to them. It means those messages are common for this as well as this. So we'll be discussing some of the common messages in this video. Let's go and see what is in this ICMP header which is used or which is going to send some messages to the host and which is actually used for diagnostic purpose. So for that, we, uh, let's explore this ICMP header. So before that, uh, I want to emphasize that this ICMP header actually will be different from one, one ICMP type to other ICMP types. It means there are different types of ICMP. And for every type or ICMP type message, we will have a different header there. So this is a general header. And uh, all ICMP packets have an eight byte header and uh, variable size data section. So header length is eight byte of this ICMP header. And out of those eight bytes, the first four bytes of the header have fixed format. So the first four bytes, so here this is actually 4 bytes, this is 32 bits, you can see, 
This is 8 bits, 8 bits and 16 bits. So the first four bytes have fixed format and I'm going to present that fixed format for this ICMP error. Yeah. So in this, in this ICMP header, the first field which is this, which is the type field, that is actually 8-bit field and this field actually defines the ICMP type. So ICMP type means there are different control messages like we have destination unreachable, maybe we have the echo request, echo reply. So these are the types of messages and what type of messages or what type of message is being carried at particular time that is actually indicated by this type message that can be maybe destination unreachable that message can be a code request so that is actually identified by this field that is type field so for example here we have uh, we have a network so this user is sending some message to maybe this destination and when this message or when this data or when this packet actually arrives at this router and due to some reason if this this router is not able to send that uh, that packet to the actual destination then the router can generate a destination unreachable message the router cannot deliver it to the actual destination and then in that case a router can generate a destination unreachable message and then this message will be sent back to the host to inform the host that your message was not successful. After type field, we have a second field that is code field here and code field is again an 8-bit field and that defines or that is actually the subtype of that ICMP type. So we have ICMP type broad category and within that further specification about that type is given in this code field and that is giving us the additional information about this message which is selected in this type field. For instance, we have, for instance, we say that we have this field here in the type field. So in this case, in this type field, we saw that we have this code that is three. That is that the type, type of message is destination unreachable. But further information about that destination unreachable that why this this occurred so for that we have codes and in this code for example in this destination unreachable we can see that we can have different reasons for this destination unreachable what is the specific reason for this destination unreachable that is basically indicated by the code field and here you see in this code field we have zero it means destination network unreachable if score beat is a 1, it means destination host unreachable. If this is 5, source route failed. For example, 6, destination network unknown, destination host unknown. So you can see within this simple type or within uh, this single type or ICMP type of message, there are different reasons and those reasons are given in this code field. So this actually code field is gives us the further details at what happened. So in some of the type of messages, we can have only single code and some of uh, the ICMP types of message can have multiple codes to give us the additional detail. So these are for some echo requests. We have this destination unreachable. We have source quench and uh, I have taken this information from this Wikipedia and have given this link. You can go to this link and uh, read about all those messages, ICMP messages, which are there. So I'll not going, I'll not be going through all those messages, but I'll be discussing only a few of them. But this is a really useful resource on the Wikipedia. You're recommended to see this one if you're interested. And now, the last field is the checksum field. The checksum field is a 16-bit field that is used for error. Uh, checking not correction but only the errors will be checked and then some of the icmp messages we we can see or we can go to that wikipedia as well uh, so one of those icmp messages is time exceeded messages so time exceeded messages is used when this ttl field is decremented to zero so what is ttl field so that is time to live field and if you remember, 
then in IP header we have a field that is time to live field and that time to live field is used to to specify a lifetime of the packet and so that is actually the hop count of this uh, of, of the packet so for example if the if the TTL field is 2 it means the have the packet can only travel from this to this so it means two layer three hops can be um, can it can be transmitted by this I mean this packet can can be transmitted to two hops and after that this packet will be discarded it will not be forward to forwarded further so when this TTL field expires or this is decremented to zero the router sends and time exceeded message to the source for example if we say that this packet arrived here initially the time to live field was two and here this will be decremented by one so this will be one and when it, this received this is received at this router the ttl field will be decremented again by one and now this will be zero and once this is zero this router is responsible to send back some message to the host that due to this reason or due to this some reason or uh, due to this reason i mean the time exceeded message will be sent to the host indicating that due to this reason the packet has been discarded in the same way though this is source quench message so for example this source is sending um, the packets to this destination so let's say this some point this destination is not capable to process that a uh, large amount of data so in that case it can send this source quench message to this uh, to the source that please reduce the data rate so that uh, I should be able to process it otherwise I will not be able to process it maybe uh, due to different reasons maybe the buffer size buffer size is not allowing me or any other reason so that is actually deprecated we have some other ways to achieve the same goal but the job of this uh, type of ICMP message is that to intimate the sender to reduce the rate data rate which is being sent in addition to that we have this well-known ping request or the ping command which we use and in this ping command that's used for checking the uh, connectivity or reachability of the nodes so that ping command actually uses icmp message one of them is echo request and second one is echo reply so i have other video discussing these things in detail but here by using ping command when we use ping command it means we send some packets to the destination that is sent in the echo request message and when the destination receives and says that yes i'm here then that message is sent back in echo reply to the destination and then in the in, in, the, in the command prompt maybe we can see that uh, ping was successful so now these are some of the messages which we discussed and let's see the same echo request and echo reply in packet tracer. Now to show you this ICMP header fields, I have created a simple lab here. So we have one computer, second computer, two routers, and uh, they are connected in different subnets. So we can create a simple lab for this purpose. Just I want to show you that how this this different field uh, these different fields look uh, like in this icmp header so for this i am going to switch to simulation mode and in this simulation mode we have this uh, window and i'm going to click edit filter and i have just selected icmp protocol and then i'm going to ping so i'm selecting this simple pdu I'm going to ping from this PT, uh, this PC to this interface or this router, and then once this this PDU has been created, we can see what is in its uh, ICMP header. So for that, when we click on this outbound PDU, so you can see here we have Ethernet, uh, and within that Ethernet we have this IP, and then we have this ICMP header. And you can see at the moment this type field is 08 which is actually icmp type of messages which is basically a code request message and the code field we have zero 
okay so echo request type of message is being generated by this host or this uh, source node and then this message goes to the switch and then switch forwards this message to the router and the router is actually reachable so the router will send back a message that is known as echo reply and then this message is delivered to the actual source and now we want to see what is there after we have received back a message that is actually echo reply so i'm going to click on this inbound pdu and in this inbound pdu if, if i scroll down you can see this time the type or icmp uh, message type is indicated by this code that is zero zero so that zero type indicates that this icmp message is basically a code reply message so in this case these all icmp messages which we discussed and you can further see on the wikipedia that we can have different icmp messages and those all icmp messages will have a different code here in the type field which will actually specify that what icmp message is being exchanged between those nodes okay so with this i'm going to end this uh, discussion and, uh, and thank you very much for your time and of course these are some of the icmp messages which cannot be created in this simulation tool we need a real environment uh, anyway so this was a bit discussion about that i hope this was a bit helpful for you and thank you thank you very much for your time hope to see you in some other video